to talk about it. Oh, uh, there was a day you brought up a topic. Yeah, it had to do with uh, husband and wife um, um, who who spends the money and all of that. And then the conversation was on, and then somebody told a story. I just Sorry. wanted to give. Okay. David Unsa just jumped into the ring. Oh my goodness. He came, punches and kicks. Oh, this guy is taking control. He's buying stars right now. Just bought 2,000 stars straight. David Unsa, you have officially, you are officially on the top five. Queen Reggie Baby, number one. Or Sars Bob, 7,000 stars, number two. Or Sars Bob. Oh my goodness, I'm closing this war soon. Looks like Reggie Baby is winning, and I want her to win, but I know Osas Bob is a man, and he's a man, and a man is strong. Oh, show the woman, show the woman, show the woman. Hey, Reggie Baby, Osas Bob, hog. Coco Boy music, big ups. So, my brother, you are saying real quick. Yes. Yeah, so, so, somebody told the story of a guy that had a girlfriend, and then he had a job. Then he now put his girlfriend's name as Nest of Kin. And then later on, they broke up. He got married and, uh, you know, didn't remove the girlfriend's name as Nest of Kin. Yes. And then later he died. So the girlfriend then now claimed his money. There was money they were supposed to give him from the company. She got yes. the money. So the, the wife and the child of the late guy they didn't get anything. Mm. Uh, Yes, that very thing. I'm not going to forget. I say any time I get a chance, I go try to chip in something. According to law, nest of kin is just a contact. Now, person has seen who, who be the quickest person to reach. That's the meaning of nest of kin. That's how law sees it. Hmm. It doesn't mean that if somebody is a nest of kin, it now means that the person will now be the one to inherit or collect. Mm -mm. According to law, once you are nest of kin, it means you are the quickest person to reach. You are the contact person. For example, a, a man can have his son as nest of kin, and then he has six children, and then the man didn't write any will and died. The son does not have the right to claim the man's money. Mm. They, whatever decision they now make, even if he's nest of kin, he doesn't have the right to go and claim anything. It is not the decision that will be made in the family, within the family, that is going to stand. So if, for example, there's any money to claim, the job of the nest of kin is to go and collect the money and bring it for the collective decision to stand. The only way the nest of kin will be the one to own whatever is when the person, the testator, the, mm. the writes a will that's this nest of kin. You are the one that has everything. That's the only ground that the nest of kin can collect something. Because mm -hmm. that they are teaching. I, you, you not bring me. So if to say bring me, I wanted to quickly say it because that's how it is in Nigeria or anywhere you travel. Nest of kin is the contact. Apart from you, who can we contact? That's Nest of Kin. It doesn't really... Because very many people don't know. Many people think Nest of Kin is the person that inherits. Mm -mm. When it comes to inheritance, Nest of Kin does not mean anything. It just means a con contact person. You want to travel, you want to enter a bus, they tell you Nest of Kin. It means if there is anything, any reason to call somebody, who can they call apart from you? That's Nest of Kin. So I just wanted to quickly correct that notion that, oh, the wife and child didn't get anything because the former girlfriend was next of king and she now came to collect her. They didn't call her and say, ah, except those people do not know. You know, when somebody doesn't know, eh, eh, things can happen. But those who know next of king cannot be the next person to inherit whatever the late person had or has. Thank you so much for that. Uh, I, I, I love that. And we're going to have this conversation again, this particular conversation again real soon. Right now, I need to update you on Star Wars. All of a sudden, Reggie Bailey at 10,000 stars has been over. 
by Osas Bob. Osas Bob uh, jumped in with 10,070 stars. Oh my goodness, Reggie Baby is back. She has overtaken him back. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh no, Coco Boy Music is now at number three. Uh, he is not making any attempts to join the top two. These two are battling out. The Star Wars is amazing right now. I can see shooting across the galaxies. I can see the Milky Way getting confused. Oh my goodness, Reggie Baby is standing strong. Yes, this is Star Wars 2022 on Daddy Freeze Live. So um, I'm rounding off. Daddy Freeze, can I quickly say something last? last, last oh, let's tell Star Wars first. That's more important than anything anybody wants to say. <laughs> <laughs> minutes. So the winner will be. And Reggie, baby, you get two. <laughs> and if it is a fastball, you get chop knuckle and hog. So, my brother, over to you. Okay, real quick, um, Daddy Freeze. Um, I know you rightly mentioned we used to have companies like uh, manufacturers of Pojo. Um, we used to have Michelin. We used to have Dunlop. I also remember we used to have um, shoemakers like um, Bata back then. Because uh, I know I rocked a number of their shoes back then in school. Um, now, would you say because one or two households stopped buying their products, that was enough to crash those companies or make them relocate? No. They left because fundamentally we had infrastructural issues that couldn't sustain their businesses. And True. those, at the end of it, that doesn't fall down to the household. It falls down to the government. Those are people that are actually side with the responsibility of propelling the economy in such a way that it sustains the businesses. So when you hear Brainer making comments like one person is important, and that's the reason why he shouldn't be contesting, he's, it's actually like we're running away from the main issue. The main issue is. I, I, I keep saying this a hundred times. It's not about APC. It's not about PDP. We just need Nigeria to work. We need the basic things. We need the infrastructures in place. It's not me to run the infrastructures. That's why we, that's why we come up under the sun, under the rain to vote for you. Because that's your job. You said you could provide something running for the economy. You said you could get ready, get, get, make do with security. You said you could do power. And you're not telling me because I alone am important, then the company, the, the whole country crumbles. It makes no sense. If you can't do the job and take the job. So I'm saying this lastly, to sign off. It's not about where you're from. Be you Yoruba, be you Hausa, be you Igbo. It's not about whether you're Christian, Muslim. As Nigerians 2023, we just need Nigeria to work. And we need the best person to make it work. Not about the party or whatever. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And this is where I close it. Nurse I have baby. to say that if it is. Nurse Reggie Baby has finished it tonight. I don't think anybody can come back. <laughs> ah, thousand, as in my whole head, they blow for stars. 16,000 stars. The closest to her is Osas Bob at 10,070 stars. Osas Bob fought a good fight this night. Oh, he caught up to her. He dragged the mantle with her. But oh my goodness, Reggie Baby has been on fire. Reggie Baby has been blazing like a comet across the galaxy. Reggie <laughs> Baby. <laughs> because uh, a few guys here and there also sending some stars. Um, big shout out to uh, Zubi, who sent 50 stars. Um, and also, uh, who else? Uzo BC sent 200 stars. Thank you so much. Udoka uh, sent 200 stars. Thank you guys so, so much. I appreciate you guys. Um, Reggie Baby has closed the day tonight. Um, she has, she has done the undoable and the unthinkable. Uh, Sandra Eriata sent 200 stars to thank you. I appreciate you, sis. Uh, but Reggie Baby stands undefeated. A comment blazing across the galaxy with 16,000 stars. That is the highest I've ever received from one single person. And she's going to get her kiss when I'm done. In the meantime... Uh, yes, you have something to say. Let me close the live. I'm listening to okay. you. Okay, okay. Um, my few words to my fellow Nigerians is just this you know, these guys are politicians, whatever they come on social media and say, 
you know, they will still go behind our backs and, you know, still be friends. Regardless, to those of us, to those of you out there that pay attention to what politicians, their opinions about each other, you need to understand that the decisions you take, their opinion doesn't de define your future. You're the one that will make decisions for yourself. You're the one that will choose what is right for you and what is wrong for you. If you think his opinion is, is um, Reno's opinion is what disqualifies Peter, you know, to be a good candidate, then you should know that regardless of the outcome after 2023 20, election, you will still stand to, you know, take part in the consequences of your decision and secondly is this like that the freeze mentioned we are all guilty of um importation most nigerians has gone abroad to seek greener pasture that doesn't mean they are still not nigerians they are nigerians but because they can achieve their dreams and goals here in nigeria they need to go outside to sort for what they want, what they think will favor them and help them achieve their goals faster. So now you can you you have your choice to think about it. Understand that politics is mixed both with good and bad, you know. You have to play the game is a game. But at this point, you know, P2B is naturally contesting. The, the few Nigerians that are tired of the unfilled government and um, policies that has been been played in so far are just the ones trying to voice out their frustrations and all the rest of it. It's not like them being violent or what. They just want to communicate. They just want to be heard. But yeah. in, regardless... I will still commend each and every one of us there that is an obedient supporter to know to be professional, you know, and try to use your words right and respect each other. Understand that regardless um, of your opinion or what you think, we all have our personal opinions and it means a lot to us. Let's try to respect one right. another. We have Thank to you. God bless you, Bidoma. Um, yes. Obedi Thank you, uh, Dr. Uh, Thank you. Daddy Fred. Uh, but case boss, right? Uh, plus two, three, four, nine, zero, nine, three, plus two, three, four, uh, nine, zero, four, four, eight, four, double, three. Thank you guys so much for joining me live today. Uh, I've got says, to, to announce the winners. Thank you, um, Right. right now, I'm going to announce the winners for the Star Wars. And um, it looks like Reggie Baby is undefeated. Um, Bob, well, I no longer can. Uh, okay. Let me. Okay. Hey. Since we're not talking anymore, let me, I'm just rounding off. Um, Taste Buds food menu. There's some things that I would really like you to try out. Whole spiced guinea fowl from Taste Buds Kitchen is 10,000 naira. This is something you should uh, try out. Of course, you, you, you also need to pay for transportation. Um, another thing that is very nice, I eat it all the time whole charcoal grill broiler chicken really big and juicy taste buds has an amazing griller that costs fourteen thousand naira and can be cut into as many as 12 pieces after grilling okay um that is definitely something you should try um let me look for something else goat meat sauce for 2.5 liters you can currently get that from taste buds kitchen at 16,000 naira it is amazing have you tried the jamaican goat curry uh 2.5 liters is 15,000 naira and five liters is 29,000 naira are you a prawn lover try the garlic butter prawns creamy mushroom sauce 
tossed veggies in herbs and basmati pilaf rice or uh, mashed potatoes, 34,000 medium uh, foil tray. That's the garlic butter prawns. You will definitely love that. So I'm Daddy Freeze, and this is as far as I can go on this. Thank you so much, Vidoma. I'll hit you up in the DM. You're amazing. I did promise Nurse Reggie Baby a big sloppy. Mwah! Thank you so much. Uh, for 16,000 stars. No one in the history of this show has ever bought 16,000 stars. Oh my goodness. Osas Bob has overtaken last minute. How do you do this? How do you do this? Osas Bob, why are you wicked like this? Why are you? Osas Bob just came and overtook her to 16,070 70 stars. How do you jump from 10,000? That means he bought. 16,000 stars or 6,000 stars. How did he do it? He sent 6,000 stars and he has overtaken her with just 70 stars. Oh my goodness. I have to close the night. It's going. It's going. Or stars, let me throw your own kiss. So, since Daddy Freeze doesn't want to give. <laughs> Uh -huh. Vido, my giving very big kiss. Give him a kiss on my behalf. Take your own kiss. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nurse Reggie Baby has finally done it again. Oh my goodness. Nurse Reggie Baby has jumped to 17,000 stars. Oh my goodness. I have to end the show, but I cannot end the show. I'm getting greedy now. Oh, the greed is showing up in me. This is how Nigerian pastors start with tights. Before you know it, they have entered dangerous seed. Oh, Nurse Reggie Baby is going. Is going. Going, 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 and finally, it's gone. Osas baby has won. No, no, it's Reggie baby, <laughs> seventeen thousand stars. Osas baby, Osas Bob, sixteen thousand four hundred and eighty stars. Osas Bob, I appreciate how hard you fought last minute. You came up from nowhere, and. You you gave Nurse Reggie Babe a real fight. Nurse Reggie Babe, I'm going to give you a big kiss while Vidoma is going to give Osas Bob his kiss. The two of you deserve it, but Nurse Reggie Babe for winning, here's your kiss. Mwah. Oh yeah, Vidoma, let's see, <laughs> let's see your lips. Thank you, oh, no, Osas. <laughs> so big guys, shout out. guys. Thank you all so much. Nurse Reggie, babe, I'm, I appreciate you. Coco Boy Music, I appreciate you. Osas Bob, you fought it. As in, Osas Bob, don't nearly catch up to Ram. If nobody say we end them, Osas Bob for drag this matter. In fact, I declare it a tie. Osas Bob has caught up. So we have two winners tonight, two amazing people. Osas Bob and Nurse Reggie, they both got kisses uh, from two different people. I love you guys. Don't miss Clash of the Supporters tomorrow. It's going to be off the hook. If you do love Peter B. Just know that you can come and debate tomorrow and watch them debate. If you love Tinubu, Opportunity Day, Bongoli Day, Bongoli, no, they go anywhere, Bongoli, no shaking. And if you love Atiku Abubakar, <laughs> don't mess with Mo Musti Alpha. God bless you guys. I love you all. Thank you so much. Nurse Reggie Babe is winning at 17,200. Finally, I have to salute to you. How did they salute? And thank you so much, Osas Bob, too, for playing such a fair game. I love you guys so much. Take care. Take care, all of you. And God bless.